Raider Nation, it's mailbag time, and today's show is presented by Panda Subs. Not only is Panda Subs the best place to get your workout supplements, it's also owned by a diehard Raider fan. 35% off at pandasups.com. Use code Raiders, and if you use code Raiders at checkout and you spend $99, you get a free shaker included. It's a hell of a deal, and the products, I promise you, you're going to absolutely love it. Let's go to some super chats coming in here from Jarrett. Hopfinger, what does a Hopfinger look like? Should we sign Morgan Moses, 21, should have signed. 21 million would have been a steal. Brian Belager, Billy Turner would be nice to fix the O-line. I would rather have Billy Turner. Billy Turner would be the number one guy, I'd say. Riley Reef, then I'll say Cornelius Lucas. Some people will say David Questenberry, Bobby Massey. Those would be the right tackles I would go out and get because I have more confidence in them than Brandon Parker and Jermaine Illuminor. What up, Cameron Sproul? Mitch, why do you suppose Ziegler hasn't addressed the O-line thus far? After all, winning football begins in the trenches. I believe it's because they have a lot of confidence in the players that the Raiders already have. So, I know we have Denzel Good. I think that they think that he's going to be able to be a reliable left guard. Uh, Jermaine Illumino is somebody who has a lot of connections with the New England Patriots in the past. And I think that they like Brandon Parker. I, I don't have a great answer for you. I don't have a lot of confidence in Good being 100% healthy yet or Brandon Parker. But I do. I am going to trust that this team and this organization is going to do the right things because from what I've seen thus far, they've done the right things. So I'm going to be patient. Let's go to or Armando Garcia. Trey Trayvon Mullen. Why would Las Vegas do this? Well, I would say unless you upgrade at corner. So let's say the Raiders go ahead and they sign Stephon Gilmore. Also for everyone watching, remember, this is filmed on my Tuesday live show, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. If you trade Trayvon Mullen, you can actually save $2.54 million. Sure, it's going to be about an $825,000 dead cap hit, but you could take that money, get an extra fifth-round pick, and then you move on from Mullen, somebody who doesn't have any connections. I'm not just going to trade Mullen for the hell of it. I'm only going to do it as if you can upgrade at corner, get an extra draft pick, and per Peter King, the Raiders want to try to get up in the second and first round again. Let's go to Satyarat27. Why are we not going after O-line? Be patient. I, I have faith in this Raiders organization to do the right things. I know it's not easy. But I do have faith and confidence that the Raiders will do the right things. I just think it also means that they have a lot more confidence in Denzel Good. They have confidence in a player like Jermaine Illuminor or also Brandon Parker. Let's go to the next one coming in here from Ryan Decker. I'd rather Deshaun Jackson instead of Robinson. They're two totally different receivers, if I'm being honest. Like Deshaun Jackson is the speed guy that can go down the field and you know stretch the field out. However... Robinson, 6'1", probably a little bit better of a red zone option. Definitely a much better blocker. Has been able to prove that he can stay healthier than Jackson. I don't see Jackson happening, but just because you go out and get Robinson doesn't mean that Jackson won't happen. All right, y'all, so how about this? Let's place our bets here. All right, I like this one. Over or under two and a half more players that the Raiders signed. So O for over or U for under. Do you think the Raiders go out and they sign over or under two and a half players, I'm going to type my O for over because I still see them going out and adding another receiver, maybe somebody else on the offensive line, and then I can sprinkle in another name or two coming in here. O for over, U for under, Raider Nation, what are you thinking? Super Chat time coming in here from Dave Wilson. Do you think about trading Waller to get back into the first round, then draft the tight end, maybe the kid out of San Jose State? I don't know if the kid from San Jose State would be the person I would draft. If McBride from Colorado State would be available, he's my number one tight end available. The only player that you're going to be able to trade to get back into the first round is Darren Waller, and I don't want to trade Waller. The only way I would possibly think about trading Waller is if Waller's like, I want to be paid the highest tight end in the National Football League. McDaniels and them are like, no, it's not going to happen. We have other needs. You have two years left on your deal. Be patient this season. We'll make it worth your while. Waller says, screw that. I'm going to sit out. If that's the approach Waller would have, I'd say then you could potentially look into trade. But the only person you're going to be able to trade to get back in round one is Darren Waller. And let's face it, I, nobody wants to trade Darren Waller. He's one of the best tight ends in the National Football League. Let's go to Raider Nation Unlimited. Okay. Um, 
What's up, Mitch? Thank you for coming on my show, brother. You're a good dude, and I appreciate you for helping my show grow. I appreciate you, and I appreciate Waste of Town, and I'm telling you, anytime somebody wants me on the show, just hit me up. More, more than happy to join. Seriously, I really, truly am. Let's go to Jacob Russell. Jacob Russell, appreciate the support. Appreciate you, brother. Dave Wilson, so far, I think you're the MVP of today's show. What about moving Mullen to safety? Why? I don't see the point of that. Like, there's other safeties that you could do because then that kind of puts you in a tough situation with Abram. I don't really see Abram being a every down type of player. You're going to see, I would imagine, Graham try to use Abram the way that they did with Jabril Peppers last season. He's going to be more of your box safety come up there. I still think the Raiders try to sign somebody who can be in coverage as a strong safety. But moving Trayvon to safety, I'm sorry. I just don't think it makes a lot of sense. Now, if you love the Raiders, make sure you go ahead and you subscribe on YouTube for the latest breaking news and rumors going on around the silver and black. We are also live on Rumble, so please remember to also, if you're looking for even more content, go ahead and give us a follow on Rumble as well. I'm trying to catch NFL Daily. It's Raiders Report or Rumble.com slash Raiders Report. But at the end of the day, I promise you, I will keep you up to date. So go ahead, give us a follow on Rumble and make sure you click that subscribe button. Keep on getting those questions in here, y'all. Use hashtag Raiders or Super Chat. Any fireball today? I only drink fireball on Tuesday shows if it gets wild, if the Raiders go ahead and they make big time moves. I drank so much last week of gosh that I had to pump the brakes a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not a young spring chicken like I once was. Our team went through a lot of alcohol, no doubt about it. But you know what? If it means partying and having a good time with the nation, I'm down to do it. Let's go to LI Raider 312. Our front office seems to be methodical. I thought that said medical. Uh, <laughs> do you see any potential trade for a right tackle? The only person I thought a trade could have happened with I actually thought when the Cowboys news came out of Lyle Collins, but Collins now heads on over to the Cincinnati Bengals. There's still good right tackles out there where I'm not going to sit here and say we need to go out and trade for one. The only offensive tackle that comes to my mind in terms of trade being a good value would be Andre Dillard. However, Dillard wants to play left tackle, but if the Raiders were like, we'll pay you left tackle type of money, throw you over on the right side, maybe Dillard, who was a first-round pick in 2019, would be up to it. What up, LC Raider? Mitch, what is currently our top priorities in the draft? I would say defensive tackle is still a need, though some of the Raiders uh, people, front office people, might disagree with me. I'll say right tackle. Right tackle has to be a, a position to go out and get. Left guard, still think the Raiders need another linebacker. I don't think it's ever a bad thing to have extra edge rush help. Josh McDaniels in his press conference said that the Raiders aren't going to go after biggest need. I think they're going to go with best player available. And that's going to be a solid strategy to have when you see this Raiders roster from top to bottom because this team has done a good job addressing a lot of needs. But if there's a player that's really high on the Raiders board, I see them going and potentially getting that player. Now, major shout out to today's sponsor, Panda Sups. Remember, if you want to get back in a better shape or if you want my hangover remedy, my hangover remedy consists of one scoop of BCAs, and that's what I do before I go to bed and right when I get up in the morning. So if you want my hangover cure, go to pandasups.com, use code Raiders. If you're also looking to just live a healthier lifestyle and you're not getting enough greens in your system, I take a scoop of the greens every morning, mix it in a little bit of water. It tastes great personally because, let's face it, it's hard to eat your vegetables every single day, right? It is at the link that you see below, pandasups.com. Use code Raiders. If you need to get in the gym and you need some high-quality pre-workout, I want you to try the peach gummy ring pandemic because I'm telling you what, it's going to wake you up and it's going to kick your ass. If you have trouble sleeping, I know my dad's always like, Mitch, I, it's not a hard to fall asleep, but staying asleep can be a problem. You take, a, you take a scoop of this, and then you're going to be ready to sleep a great night's sleep. And, I see it, if you spend over $100, you're also going to get a free shaker. Just make sure that you use code Raiders at pandasups.com for 35% off all of your awesome supplements over at Panda Sups. So, BCAs, the shaker, we got it all for you. You're good, brother. Keep it moving here. Keep it moving. So let's use hashtag Raiders or Super Chat because uh, if you're watching this live, some breaking news just happened. So let's finish up this mailbag quick. Dondo underscore 613. Devontae just mentioned you and his presser. I don't know if I believe you. So apparently, 
Apparently I got mentioned in Devontae Adams' presser, so I actually want to see this happen right now. Very curious. Uh, Chase, Chase is going to play it for me, and if this is true, I need a cut of this on, uh, on something. I need someone to make this. This is pretty dope, so. I know, we saw we saw the news, so we'll we'll get that one going. Hang on, I wanna hear this. Raider Nation, I'm here. It's real. Um, I've been seeing some of the reactions. I saw some live reactions from a couple people, a couple local uh, podcasts and stuff like that, some video podcasts where people were reporting some Raider stuff and then I saw one of the guys saw it on there just seeing me and my buddy were watching it yesterday. Seeing that, they probably think that, uh, you know, I would see it and not care, but that stuff means a lot just, just seeing how, how people react to that type of stuff. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So Devontae saw us go live on YouTube and get wild. I don't know about y'all. That's pretty freaking cool to me. So even more shout out to Devontae Adams. Adams, you want to come on the show? Can we auction off a free, can we auction off a Devontae Adams jersey? Let's make it happen. If you guys could tweet at Devontae and say, come on the Raiders report. Let's get him on here. We're going to auction off a jersey. I, I think that'd be pretty damn cool, right? Let's go to Ryan Hufford, $20 super chat. I'm sweating now. Sweating. Uh, super glad we don't have to draft a quarterback. Would have been terrified of Jamarcus Russell 2.0. There will never be a Jamarcus Russell 2.0 because, let's face it, VHS tapes, they don't exist anymore, right? Uh, I, no, I mean, I don't really know if the Raiders ever were going to do it because with Josh McDaniels, they needed to be able to win right away, which is something that we absolutely know needed to end up happening. So let me know down in the comment section. We're going to end this mailbag right here with this one. Name a player. Uh, we don't need to hit it. Name a player that the Raiders should go ahead and sign. Let me know down in the comment section. I want to hit the breaking news that just happened. Then we will get into our next segment around Devontae Adams' trade and why the Raiders went ahead and they won that. Shout out to Sam for making all this stuff up on the fly. I, uh, I, I appreciate that. I see Juan Perez, and if you send in a super chat, don't worry. We will get to it during the second mailbag. So let's end this cut here. And then we will go ahead and we'll break down the, the news that happened. If we need to give some shout-outs, we can go ahead and give some shout-outs. It's okay. So name a player that the Raiders should go ahead and they should sign. 